Everybody knows the Christmas story, right? Uh, it's about shepherds and wise men and angels and a manger and Bethlehem and a baby and Joseph and Mary. That's the part everybody knows, but that's not the real story. Everything begins when God creates the universe. And he did that in six days. Six 24-hour days he created everything. And the seventh day he rested, having said, it's good. In fact, it was perfect. And that included the creation of Adam and Eve. It was perfect. It wasn't very long, however, until sin entered the world. And it entered in the garden when Eve was tempted and Adam followed her temptation. The whole human race catapulted into sin. And by the third chapter of Genesis, the human race is cursed. And the animal kingdom is cursed. And the creation is cursed. And the universe is cursed. And sin dominates. What's God going to do to redeem his creation? The world needs a savior. There has to be somebody who can come to rescue man from his sin. And that somebody is the Son of God who is born in Bethlehem at Christmas. He didn't come just to be born. He didn't come just to live a perfect life. He was born not like anybody else had ever been born. He was born of a virgin because he was conceived in Mary by the Holy Spirit without a human father, divine miracle. He lived an absolutely sinless life. The Bible says he was holy, harmless, and undefiled and separate from sinners. He lived a perfect life. There had to be more than that. What good would his perfect life do for anybody else? He had to die. Why did he have to die if he lived a perfect life? Because God selected him to be the substitutionary sacrifice for all all who would ever believe through all of human history. That is the right understanding of Christmas. A child born to die. The shadow of the cross looms over the manger. And when you understand that, you understand Christmas. And oh, by the way, after he was crucified and after he received the full judgment for all the sins of all who would ever believe, God raised him from the dead to vindicate and validate the efficacy, the efficiency of his sacrifice. And then God raised him to glory where he sat down at the right hand of God and was given a name above every name, which is the name Lord. Jesus Christ is exalted because his work was finished. And because of what he did, all who believe receive eternal life. Call his name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins.